everybody, it's I, the man who is Dan, uh, back again with a video debut of Shovel Knights. This is a new game come out from Yacht Club Games. Uh, no idea what else they've done. But uh, this game came out on Steam just a few days ago, and it's also available on some other platforms, I think. I've heard a lot of buzz about it initially, so I decided to get it, and uh, we're going to try it out. I have played through the first uh, level or so. Uh, so I know a little bit what I'm getting into, but for the most part, this will be a brand fresh new experience. Uh, there you go, you can see there, I played through a little bit already. We're gonna go start up a new adventure. Man, Dan. And All right. All right. Here you go. Little backstory for you. It's this game obviously heralds back to the kind of eight bitty, um, you know, retro style games. Not a big, deep story really. Uh, you play as the Shovel Knight, uh, who is best friends with the Shield Knight, which I believe is a female companion. Uh, although it doesn't explicitly say that. Uh, anyway, you're off adventuring. Uh, she dies, basically. Or Sh Shield Knight dies. And uh, Shovel Knight gets all sad. Uses the shovel to dig a grave. But, uh... Anyway, one thing you can really notice is the music is pretty awesome. I really like the music. Uh, this game very much has a lot of Mega Man influences. Uh, Order of No Quarter. It's cool because it rhymes. But I really love the, uh, the old school sound of the music. Um, this game definitely has a ton of Mega Man influences. I mean, it's, it's pretty much apparently obvious right from the beginning of the game truthfully but then especially as soon as you start playing it is clear that uh, this has Mega Man influence all over it um, and a little Castlevania too it's shoveling time alright now originally I played this when I played a little bit earlier I played with a keyboard and uh, discovered that this game is definitely well suited for a controller so you just got your basic little shovel swing. You can jump and press down to do a downward stab. Which, uh, that took me a while to figure out because I, I wanted to hit attack and down. And that kind of cancels it out. Um, and that's really all your attacks until you get some stuff later. seem to be having a little bit of frame rate issues, which I'll just play through this level and then uh, hopefully fix that for the next episode. Listen to that music. <laughs> uh, you get money, it's for uh, you know, buying upgrades and some items and stuff later. I guess I could be knocking this stuff out to get more money. This downward stab allows you to do kind of a bounce. That is probably the most useful, one of the most useful things in the game. You want to do that down stab a lot. It allows you to, you know, hit enemies without really throwing yourself into too much danger for the most part. These are little money piles here. Little platforming puzzles. I really like the game, you know, doesn't Hold your hand in tutorials. There's so far there's not been one tutorial in the game that I've seen. It's just hey, go play the game and see if you can figure it out. So I like that a lot. Um, if you look at the top of the screen, there's gold item, life boss. Uh, as I said this is you know some of that Castlevania influence I talked about earlier, where you've got your item is. Kind of Castlevania, you I, you don't find it in this first level, I don't think. But, uh, you know, you use the up plus the attack button to 
use a limited number of items that you have to refill. In Castlevania, it's parts, and this one's it's like magic jars or something. See, fast attack, infinitely useful. Uh, and then you even see the boss's life before you even get to him, so you know how much they're gonna have. Shuttle that skull back and forth. There's a lot of hidden secrets too in the game. Uh, you know, you always want to check corners for uh, where you can shovel and reveal secret areas. Like right here, it's gonna. That's basically the game's tutorial telling you to check for stuff a lot. <laughs> So far the game hasn't been too difficult, but again, I've only played basically the first level, so... First level, and then pulled around in the starting town. Yeah! You got pretty good jumps, so... You can make most gaps. Now, like Mega Man, spikes are one-hit kills. So, watch out for that. These are little music sheets, you collect them. It's basically this game's collectible item to give you reasons to go back to levels and, and whatnot. It's uh... You can just... It's opening up the soundtrack. Uh, there's a bard in the main town you can hand him into and... And he'll just play the songs for you. Oh, almost... Ah, oh, I'm gonna miss that now, damn it. Yeah! I don't really get back up there. God. Nope. Big ass helmets are getting in the way. I think it's the. Uh... Oh, cool. Yep. Little hidden area there. Take myself down. There we go. And uh, get some turkey. That's basically how you, you know, how you heal yourself throughout the levels. I haven't found if there's uh, potions or anything like that you can grab. Oh, those are little checkpoints, obviously, in case you haven't figured that out yet. Uh, that's a downward stab attack. Infinitely useful. <laughs> As I said, I love the score. Lots of hidden secrets. I don't know if you get something for collecting all the music sheets or anything like that. There, as it's a Steam game, there are achievements, so that's pretty cool. So, you know, there's one for getting in your first music, and there's one for digging up so much gold. And, you know, pretty much anything you can think of. Typical achievement fodder. I think I'm getting pretty close to the end of the first level. There. Luckily, you can go back to levels. There's no uh, penalty for falling to your death you know, after you, the screen zones up or whatever you want to call it. Pretty sure the care is just to heal your life, but I've already got it, so. First levels, as I've, as I've said, it's not too difficult.
That was actually really dumb. I could have died right there. <laughs> I think I just pushed off a ledge. That would not be fun. Also, you can squat, although I don't know any reason to duck him. Like, he just slightly bends his knees. Like, I don't, I don't duck. Ah, damn. So I'm going down the pit. Ugh! Gosh! That's close. Alright. Do my best not to die on the very first level. Now this one's tricky because when you start doing your little down shovel, you'll keep bouncing unless you land on a non diggle spot, so you need to hit that, dig to the side, and then you can get the expensive gym. There he is. Quite a bit of money. Although this stuff gets pretty expensive. I mean, just a little bit I've seen ranges in the several thousands. Pretty much discovered if you could, if it looks like there's a secret there, there's probably a secret there. Oh, that was close. Now, one thing is you may have infinite lives. I honestly don't know. I've died a couple times, but I don't ever see a life counter. So, you may potentially have infinite lives, which if that's the case, that's pretty cool. Makes the game a little easy, I guess you could say, but, you know, still a nice little treat. <laughs> ah, here we are. Definitely at the boss now. Oh, okay. uh, it's just... I guess I did have one hit now. So. First boss. The Black Knight. So oh, why do you show your face sooner or later? <laughs> uh, there's some pretty good dialogue in here. Some of it's uh, basic. Just, you know, out of my way and whatnot. But they do occasionally have some quick-witted humor. Uh, pretty sure all bosses are going to be knights in this game. But I don't know that for sure. <laughs> As a semi boss, you usually want to try and figure out the pattern. Uh, since I fought him, I kind of know his. He mostly runs back and forth, uh, goes for like a basic shovel attack. Uh, I think here he does like a jump, yeah. He'll do that to four times. Usually you can get him in there. You don't want to try and, uh, Oh yeah, get that double hit. You typically don't want to try and just shoot. Uh, go straight for a uh, uh, just a trade standard swings with him. He will usually win. I think he has just a slight more reach on you. Oh, got him! Nice. Oh damn it! As I said, that jump attack is immensely powerful. Useful, I should say. There we go. Ooh. Oh, I got a feat. Probably for not dying in the first level would be my guess. Cool. Of course he's not dead. Classic first boss mistake. Underestimate the hero.
gonna take me a little nap. No tents, just simple bonfire. What's this? Story development? Catch her. See, I didn't catch her the first time. But, to my knowledge, nothing happens, so... You gotta wake yourself up. Ooh. And uh, this was a uh, achievement right here. It was called "Only You Can Prevent Forest Fires." Shovel on off. Now you can see the world map. Quite a hefty uh, adventure. So I think the game is gonna be pretty lengthy. Um, I guess uh, that's a good stopping point, and get this frame rate issue taken care of before I start getting into the new stuff, or new for me stuff, I should say. So, this is the man for, this is I, Dan, man who's Dan, pardon the uh, speech impediment there, and I'll see you guys later.